June 10th, Monday. Hello, everybody. Just want to report, still following the messenger. I'm still following the harbinger, omen, whatever name you want to tag it. It's now in the constellation Kansas Major, star constellation, where we have Sirius, star Sirius. And Sirius has a lot, a lot of, wow, a lot of stories, a lot of, a lot of information about Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. Now, over here, we have quite of an alignment over here. We got Venus, the Sun, Mercury, Jupiter, and Uranus in Taurus. They all seem to be at the horn. This is the area of where we get those meteor showers, those famous meteor showers that people are concerned about, the Taurus meteor showers in that same vicinity. So we have Comet 12P located by the dog. Let's get into this. Taking a quick look at Facebook Comet Watch. Jared posted this seven hours ago. Take a look. Look at the beauty of the comet, how it looks. Still has that anti-tail and still has all that dust blowing in, the, in this direction. Still connected to the sun. It's not an illusion. And this is the ion tail right here. And look at the beauty of the color. It's in the constellation Kansas Major. Okay, taking a look. This site right here. Sirius mythology was the focus of ancient folklore all around the world. When we combine a modern and ancient view of the calendar system, the evidence for a Sun Sirius star partner becomes very apparent. Could the Sirius star not only be the brightest star in the sky, but our second sun? Would it prove Sirius mythology to be real? It's a mystery that if solved, would be a critical piece of the human origin story. So much mythology, so much history, so much information from the ancient past regarding Sirius. So Sirius played a major, major key role in the ancient past because some say it might be the second sun and it's coming in close now. Astronomy moved from an Earth-centered universe to a solar system model very slowly. In 1532, Copernicus wrote his sun planet model. They had to put that music on there. Scared to publish. In 1632, Galileo was brave enough to do so. He was persecuted by the church for his efforts. It then took 200 years until it. Okay, gotta pause it because of the music. There is a lot, a lot of information here tying this serious star constellation. Sirius in Egypt could be observed on the eastern horizon just before dawn on the summer solstice. The timing of its rise would determine whether an extra month That's the dog a few days symbol. would be employed that year. The rise of Sirius determined the calendar year. This method allowed for incredibly accurate... There's a lot of information on this one. I'll leave a link down below. Continuing. In this video right here, Carl T Randall... Carlson. You know, there was just an interesting report that came out a couple of weeks ago. Fascinating the study. Finding of human footprints. Did you hear about that? Finding of human footprints in. Uh, a lot of here. knowledge here. Kenya, thank you. Remember how old they were? 1.5 million. And for all, for all intents and purposes, they look like exactly modern footprints. And it's hard to conceive of a modern foot being on the bottom of a creature, you know, a whole lot different than than we are, you know. Um, now, you know, we, we're not going to jump to any conclusions from that because I've been using the data 150,000 to 200,000 years for the span of time because that's the span of time in which we can say with a fair amount of confidence and conviction. He has more interesting... To be careful not to be surprised by the inundation. The Ethiopian compared this act of that star to that of the animal, which, by barking, gives warning of danger. By barking. Now that's interesting because here's another important clue in, 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 in uh, penetrating into this mystery of Sirius, the dog star. Dogs Bark. gave warning of danger. Sirius, in its turn, did it give warning of danger somehow? Yes. Did it somehow clue the Egyptian? Well, clearly we know from what we've learned now that the rising of Sirius with the sun 
heralded the inundation of the Nile. But when? Okay. I take from that barking. The reason I'm going to save that is because of recent human behavior. There's more. There's so much about Sirius, Star Constellation, and Cancer's Major about the secret societies and all that. Ancient, ancient Egypt, ancient Samaria. This one's pretty interesting right here. I was checking this one out. It's played from getting across that plane on December 21st, 2012. And this is what's causing the awakening. We rose above the ecliptic. We moved from Pisces. To I'll leave a link down below. Aquarius, which is the number sixth sign of the zodiac. And we're in the upper ecliptic, which is heaven. And we moved from hell. And when you go to heaven, your government wants to contain you. Agenda 21 you control populations okay i have to pause it there for a second this right here world economic forum keep an eye on the activity they've been doing lately and how they want to control this video was done over two years ago so we're dealing with forces that when you were in hell they allowed you some freedoms now you were still a slave but now we're moving into the upper ecliptic a higher conscience an age of wisdom and enlightenment that's what December 21st, 2012 was the enlightenment. It wasn't the end of the world. It was the end of the world for rich psychopaths that run the world. Now, what you're looking at here is an Egyptian god called Animus. And this is connected to Canis Major. This is the constellation that Cirrus is in. So this is Canis Major. This is Cirrus, same as Isis. Isis is Cirrus. And I'm going to show you some evidence that subliminally they're trying to tell you. And it's out there. But directly they will never tell you the truth. So, And of course you'll see Cirrus tied in with Toyota. And you'll see the XM which is the sun and the dog star. There it is right there. Same as you saw over here. Watch. There's the dog star. Cirrus or Isis. And let's keep going. What is Visa? What is MasterCard? Well, that's Babylon. That's Nimrod, Bill, city of Babylon. And or you can just stay asleep and become a sheeple. When you watch TV, they're stealers of souls. Because when these two things come together, there's only death in life. There's only two choices you can make, God or money. And you're either going to go to darkness or light, just like the movie Star Wars. You're going to take one side. Now, most people are going to take money, right? Satan, evil, set, call it whatever you want. But they're going to take the evil side, or they're going to be Judith Iscariots. And they're going to choose money over Jesus, right? Same thing. So there's only two choices in this age. That's it. And also, when all this stuff comes together, this is your global warming or your solar flares that they're talking about knocking out their infrastructure. This was two years ago. Electricity. You won't have cell phones. You won't have any of this stuff when these two stars come together. Everything. So that's a very important message that I have to relate today. I'm not putting it together in a, in a nice organized format because of copyrights. So that's where Comet 12P, the messenger, the harbinger, is located. And that's what he's reminding us. It's reminding us of the, as the as I read the passage, we have the star Sirius, and it has a lot of implication, a lot of a lot of connections to what's happening now. It might explain why the consciousness is rising with the light people and the dark people. You're basically seeing them for what they are. Now, what I wanted to do with the barking might explain this. Another thing to note: uh, going on, I was doing studying the third secret where animals attack and other prophecies and we're getting a lot of animals attacking we're getting still getting churches being burnt mostly in over there in canada everything's being revealed i mean like this right here out of nowhere this this look at the dogs see how the animals just attacking humans and this is happening a lot now remember the barking let me explain this <laughs> we'll 
do it. Matter of fact, they're doing it now. They're arresting people left and right. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, this is happening all over the place. Now, uh, no comment. I love killing babies. I love Jesus, it. Jesus, we have to give her the letters. I'm not like 45 abortions that I'm going to keep having. You need our God. Jesus, we have to give her the letters. I'm not like 45 abortions. Look at that. There it is, right before your eyes. Right before your eyes. Is that human or what? More signs. This uh this time it comes from uh Australia. This here is so true right here. Now here's another one. <laughs> now this happened this raid is veteran for something for january 6 they raided his home and the next day the wife had a miscarriage and lost her baby they kept him outside in the cold weather This is what we have become. Beautiful eyes, aren't they? Yeah, we need to keep a focus because the storm is going to get really bad. Really bad. And you all feel it. You all sense it. You all know it. Now, this was in Portugal. Rybor Fatima is located at signs. We're, giving, we're, we're being given signs from above. In other words... Change your ways or get ready. That's what I see. Everything I say is my opinion and my opinion only. Chicken farms being attacked. Egg farms being attacked. Chickens being put down. To be replaced with these. In your food. Here's another story about a Bible during a tornado, untouched. Amazing, isn't it? We found it digging underneath, the, underneath that wall. It was just laying perfectly like that. Yeah, that's the one that was in the bathtub. Our mama's probably come through both of them. So what does that tell you? Now, this was a mess. A lightning boat struck George Floyd mural in Toledo, hit by lightning. Lightning just destroyed that mural. Now, this report was back in May 25th. It talks about that anonymously, the magnetic field opening up in this vicinity. This, this is weak where it's weak, and this is where it's open. So when we get these solar flares, see me hitting the magnetic field, a lot of the heat, that's why we're slowly heating up, and it's not even summer yet because of our magnetic field is falling apart. Now, here's another one for the bugs. This right here, this is what you need to look for. That right there, ingredient. That ingredient right there. Yeah, Jesus warned us about these times. $750 million. I mean, they're, they're just e everywhere. Yep. Sometimes they can't control control it. So that that's what we have. That's churches being burnt. Bibles being banned here and there. Here's another...
Lord have mercy. We're getting close to that time. So that was just a brief news uh what's happening currently and and what's coming now that about the star serious and about the uh, being the other son th that's very 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 important information because as it gets closer last time it was closer it was during the golden age and the christ consciousness increase there's going to be a separation you can see right now it, that's the prophecies and those three videos that i put up in the beginning is warning us and the planet will continue the magnetic field is falling apart. The heat is going to increase. It's never going to decrease unless it's a godly intervention. But as you see, what I just saw, just a brief, what's happening today around the world, how a lot of people, I don't know if it's over 50%, have turned away from the God, Jesus, and the light. The more negativity we produce, the more the magnetic field falls apart. As simple as that. I say that towards the end. As we give out, we receive and what we're giving out is affecting every single molecule for those flat earthers the filament the filaments being affected our magnetic fields being affected and the more we turn away the more we attack god mock god it's a sodom and gomorrah all over again after the great flood jesus god said to noah and enoch the next he won't never do it with the flood again. The next time will be by fire. By fire. That's it. Signing off.